Brent here from American English with this guy. And in today's English lesson, we are going to visit an American bakery. And also, I think, an American nutritional store, which I'll talk more about later. Uh, one thing I should say before we get started with the lesson, my editing software is not really working. So I think for this English lesson, it's going to be another English teacher challenge. Number nine, I cannot stop recording for any reason because I can't edit it. So let's go take a look at the bakery, maybe walk over to that nutritional store and then we're gonna go into the bakery. So this bakery is called Barn Bakery, I think. Bakery Barn. And as I walk further out here, you can see behind me, it does kind of look like a barn. But inside, I promise, it's all bakery. When I was younger, I lived around here, and it used to be an ice cream store. Now it's a bakery, still selling sweet things. And over here, just around the corner, and we can't see it, but I promise, we'll walk over there in a minute after we visit the bakery, and we might get a nutritional shake. So when I talk about nutritional, think healthy. It's healthy for you. But let's go someplace where it's not so healthy. This is my favorite part. Sweets, lots of sugary things. And I'm filming this right now in October. So it's starting to get a little cool. I broke out the flannel. And when I say broke out, it means I uh, might have had it stashed away for a little while. I might have had it in storage, but now that it's getting cooler, I broke it out. I got it out of the closet and I'm wearing it now. A lot of businesses in the United States to show they're open will have a flag hanging outside of the store. It means we can come in. And it also says, come in, we're open. Just have to find the door handle. Before we go in, one thing I should say, they just opened. You can see, established, yeah. It said established 2021. That means when the business started. They just opened a little while ago. And there was a article, an article in the newspaper about them. So they've had a lot of business. When we walk in there, you might see the shelves are kind of bare. There isn't a lot on the shelves, and that bear is spelled B-A-R-E, not like the, the animal, B-E-A-R. The shelves are bare because they've been doing so much business. They've become very popular in a short period of time. So now that I've found the door handle, I can open the door and we can go inside. So there are customers in the store, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to not to get them on camera. The first thing you might see when you walk into a bakery is coffee. <laughs> we call this cream for the coffee. We would call that a coffee maker because it makes coffee. You can hear, maybe you can hear some conversation in the background. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Have a good day. Says these are jalapeno corn muffins. Three dollars. So jalapeno is probably a word that's kind of common in other languages. If you're ever going to have jalapeno, just make sure it's probably going to be a little spicy or a little hot. And it's probably made with cornmeal. Cornmeal. Look over here. Ooh. Oh no. I have, to, I have to talk about this. Barn, barn crack? Yeah. Is that, is that yeah. like the drug? 
Yeah, because it's addicting when you eat it. Okay. And um, the owners of this bakery, I went to high school with, so Megan and Eric, but I don't think they're gonna appear on camera. So this is uh, something we can talk about here, barn crack. All right, don't do crack, don't do crack. But in English, crack is a type of drug. It's very addicting. So barn crack, it's just anything that's not a drug and you call it crack, it means you want to keep eating it. So this is made with, uh, it's like graham crackers, pralines, that is, um, I think walnuts covered in sugar. I'm sorry, are, are pralines, are those walnuts covered in sugar? Pralines? Pecans, thank you. So a different type of nut. It's a pecan covered in sugar. And then there's some chocolate in there. So take a look at that. A loaf of bread. All right, let's talk about that chocolate cherry bomb. Did you see that? I think those are made to put in hot chocolate. The bombs. The bombs do you... They make hot chocolate. Okay, so take a look at that. So you probably know what a bomb is in English, but that has cherry flavor, maybe some cherries in there, and chocolate. So if you put it into hot chocolate, if you know what that drink is, it's basically like melted chocolate, and guess what? It's hot. If you put one of those bombs inside, the heat from the water will make it expand and there's a whole bunch of good stuff in there to make your hot chocolate even sweeter. So um, those were big last year around the holidays and it looks like they're coming back uh, for the fall. It's getting a little cooler. That stuff is called barn bark. Remember, we're in an old barn, so they have barn and a lot of their sweets. All of those things look like cupcakes, but they're wrapped in a very fancy way. Over here, we have a mini cheesecake. dipped apple slices. In the fall, Americans love anything flavored with apples or pumpkin. So right now, apples and pumpkin are going to be really popular here in the bakery. Did you see those barn apples? So there are apples underneath that, but you know, in the United States, we don't like anything too healthy. So we'll take something really healthy and then just cover it with chocolate, marshmallows. Looks like some chocolate drizzle there maybe. Eclairs, I think that's a French thing. So you might know what that is. I think they're pretty popular all around the world. It is definitely a pastry, so it has some breading. On top it has some chocolate, but on the inside we might say it has some cream. All right, so that is one case. We would say that those items are in a case. Oh, over here they have brownies and blondies, brownies and blondies. So a brownie is definitely going to have more chocolate in it. A blondie, a little less chocolate, more like, um, uh, like a chocolate chip cookie. I think I need to get one of those barn cookies though. I think I'm gonna go with the triple chocolate here in a minute. 
And they also have bagels. So bagels, not as sweet as most of the other stuff here. But muffins, a breakfast item that is sweet. Mm. When you get a chance, do you mind if I order uh, one of those cookies? Sure. One of the uh, triple chocolate, please. I go triple chocolate. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay with cash here, but I do think. You know, do you accept credit cards here? Yes. Okay, so you can pay with cash here, and you can pay with credit card. So. dollar 62 and I paid with a $20 bill so I should be getting some change back here that's what we call it the extra money all right thank you so much you're welcome enjoy thank you so much for letting me record in here you're welcome we'll, we'll get out of your hair now no <laughs> see you guys so if you feel like you're bothering somebody you can say that we will uh, get out of your hair. Like if like, I, I don't know if they were uncomfortable or not with me filming. They said that I could film in there. So I, I know they didn't mind that, but I don't think they really wanted to be on camera. So, but a huge shout out if you watch this, Megan, Eric, thank you so much for letting me film here. We're gonna re uh, record this over here at my car. Just eat this cookie. Let's see. Let's see what this cookie. So if you remember, it cost me about a dollar fifty cents. I think there was a little tax, so I think it was a dollar and sixty-two cents. Look at the nice, the nice little bag they gave me. The nice little bag. Yeah, and so I paid with a twenty-dollar bill, and then I got my change back. So even even bills can be change. It's just whatever is left over, whatever you are owed after you pay something. But this could literally be change, the coins. So you might have some change in your pocket. We would probably call it the coins. But my change from my $20 bill was about $18 and, and something. But let, let's get to the important part here. It's the cookie. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy triple chocolate so three kinds of chocolate it looks like there are some white chocolate chips there so that might be one and it looks like there are some actual chocolate chips here so that's probably two and then the cookie itself is chocolate this smells amazing this smells almost like batter brownie batter so if you saw those brownies in there if you have ever made them, before you bake them, that's called batter. It's usually rich, gooey. This smells like brownie batter. Really dark and rich, chocolatey. All right, let's go in for a bite here. Oh, that's good. Mmm. That's good. So, I'm just gonna take a bite because I don't think you want to see me eat on camera too much. I'll try to swallow this as quickly as possible. I'll put this back in the bag. With one hand, or maybe two hands. And then we'll go over to the Shake Shop. A nutritional, I'm going to, I'm just going to leave that on the car. Hopefully nobody grabs it. Hopefully there's no chocolate in my teeth. That would really be embarrassing. And now we're going to walk over to the nutritional shake place. And I'll try to do it uh, by not getting hit by a car. Really, um, there's a convenience store that I just walked by and it smells a lot like cigars. And guess what? They sell cigars there, so that's why it smells. Did you hear that? Somebody was beeping at me, I'm very famous. There's a furniture store. 
right here too. We won't go in there, but I think you can rent furniture. It's called Rent-A-Center. Yeah, they probably won't want me recording. <coughs> Excuse me. They probably won't, uh, they don't want me recording in there. All right, I did ask. I did ask Hometown Nutrition and Energy if I could record in there, and they said it was fine. And they are open, but there are also customers inside there. So I may have to stand off to the side so I don't get any customers. But um, the person who is going to make my shake said they don't mind if they're on camera. So they don't mind. Uh, probably the customers don't want to be on camera though, but let's go in. I guess you can follow them on Google too. Did you hear that? Somebody just ordered a mega sized shake. Mega means really, really big. Let's take a look at the menu over here. Do you have any camper cups? What? Do you have any camper cups? We don't have any camper cups. Looks like the screen isn't actually gonna let us see what they have, but. <clears throat> All right, it looks like there's a bit of a line and I don't want you to have to wait in line there with me. There's a dog in a car here. He didn't look too happy about being filmed either, huh? Yeah, so I don't wanna uh, waste your time by waiting in line. Maybe I'll make that another video, unfortunately, but you could see that there it was definitely a Halloween theme there. It looked like they had some Frankenstein tea, some zombie tea. I have no idea what that means, but I definitely wanna try some, but I don't wanna waste your time. So if you're looking for another English lesson and you like these type of lessons where I'm just walking around, check right up there because I did one in an American supermarket and they didn't kick me out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.